lots of antiques of course all typewriter we have like that before what else you can see in here So in 1916, several French Canadian families in the Bonneville area decided to embrace Protestantism and called upon Reverend John Douglas to act as their pastor. Okay, that's how it started. So the hospital, the mains and school buildings from this mission still stand as a testament to his work. All right. Okay, I'll go to that area. Okay, here oh, you can so see all the antics. So I just heard that's an old gas pump. Honey, Some old chainsaws. They used to take honey. Wow. Old car? What do you call it? So in this area, you can see lots of farm equipments and machineries, some of the antiques, vehicles, wow look at that, it's probably like 90 years old, 90, 95, what is this, worldwide energy company, Fort Kent. Oh, this Wow, look at that. Some expensive machineries, farm equipment. This is it. If you're a farmer, you should have one of this. <laughs> I think so. Yes, it is. Back in the day. Like before, before. For a long time ago. Look at those tractors. Wow. Yeah, but they're already antiques, all of them. 1927. And this is 1928 model. What else? 1918 model this guy this is 1925 oil pool more antique equipment here what is this little house in here More old house again. No, I think this is one of their 
stores before. That's their old church, chapel, St. Anne. Yeah, I think this is pretty much of their museum here in Bonneville. And we have the fire department on the end. It's probably another house. Oh, and there's another our church in there. Actually, I'm wrong. It's not house. A house. It's a school. So this is their school before. Back in the day, 1920s. And you can see that's the old style of their desk. Look at that. And there's green board. I remembered when I was in elementary. It's almost like this. All right, class. I'm your teacher for today, Teacher Faye. <laughs> in this grade 2, section 1. Our lesson for today is about addition. <laughs> so, in the grade where you say 2 plus 1 equals 3, 4 plus 3 equals 7, of course. <laughs> Alright. Alright. That's it for today, guys. I hope you are learning. I hope you learned something from our lesson for today. <laughs> so, I'm gonna give you some assignment. You need to study. Because we're going to have a test tomorrow. <laughs> Alright, bye class. See you tomorrow. And this is the church looks like from the old century old century <laughs> i don't know probably like 1920s small church that's one that looks very cozy look at their antique piano wow So this is the Bonneville Fire Department or Fire Truck. Yeah, it's just Bonneville Fire Department, so I'm right. In or during 1946. There it is. 1946 to 2006. So this is their fire truck. 1946 to 2006 so that's why we put it in the museum because they're not using it anymore I think so I think this is their, the 
last part of the museum small museum there's lots of nice artwork from the old days wagon what's wagon trails to glory wow wagon trails to glory so basically most of the items in here they are antique of course from the museum mall itself antique bike pedal bike antique pianos and everything that is cute i like it That's what they do or used for living. And this is the Indian teepee. Is that their house before? Yeah. And bear, look at that. It's really a Canadian thing. So that's yeah, how that's the Canadian there. people survived before in the year 1900s. I don't imagine how they survived. So it was all temporary. Here is way, way worse living than in the Philippines long time ago, I guess. <laughs> so in this museum, they showed how the Canadians survived or how they lived before in the year 1900s. Earlier. Or earlier than that. Yeah, it's really difficult, but this time it's more comfortable. We all have all the the convenient way of living. Unlike before, well, it's the same in the Philippines though. It's hard to survive, but right now, like the new generations, they are very lucky. The way of living is very convenient and easy, unlike before. So this is different kinds of stone? Or whatever. Yeah, well you got your hammerheads like they have over there. These arrowheads are some killer food if they have. Welcome! Enjoy your visit! <laughs> My name is Tipal, District of Bonn. 